Hello everyone, I'm Captain Cork, the mascot of Cantina della Volta. Come with me and we'll discover the secrets of my winery together. The winery was built in 1920 at Bon Porto by my great-grandfather Francesco Bellei. His two sons, Bruno and Medardo, later carried on his work with their wives, Carmen and Giovanna. Bruno and Carmen's son, Giuseppe, has combined tradition with innovation, passing on his passion for wine to his own son, Christian, who now runs a winery. After finishing school, Giuseppe decided to go on a study holiday to Lebanon by car. There, in the Valley of Becca, wine production is lost in the mists of antiquity. In 1982, after training in France in the Champagne region, Giuseppe created the first Lambrusco di Sorbara using the traditional Methode Champenois. Giuseppe loved tasting his wine with his friends, including Umberto Lastorina, at the Santa Chiara Tavern. It was Umberto's idea to create the Cantina della Volta. Christian inherited Giuseppe's passion for bubbles. Today, Cantina della Volta only produces sparkling wine using the Methode Champenois. So he had to abandon another of his passions, parachuting, to devote nearly all his time to the Cantina della Volta, apart from a few hours cycling now and then. So how is wine produced? Well, first of all, you need the right grapes. Only the best Sorbara grapes arrive at the winery to produce our Lambrusco wines. The Pinot Nero and Chardonnay, coming from our vineyards in Ricco di Saramazzoni, are used for the Mattaglio, non-vintage, and for our quality vintage sparkling wines. A group of experts select and pick only the best bunches of grapes, placing them in crates weighing a maximum of 15 kilograms to prevent the grapes from being squashed or damaged. The grapes are then placed on a conveyor belt which takes them slowly into a French wine press which presses them gently to obtain the must. The must is slowly racked into large steel vats for the first fermentation. Tiny organisms are added to the must to help it ferment and transform it into wine. Every winery has an expert supervising the whole transformation process from must into wine. We have Christian, who checks all the various phases, analyzing all the stages in the life of every product. Then the wine rests, shh, for maturation on the yeasts, and gradually becomes a Metal Champenois fine sparkling wine. After spending at least six months in the steel vats at a controlled temperature, the primary formation is finished, and the wine, still without bubbles, is bottled with added yeasts and sugars, liqueur de tirage. During the month after bottling, the yeasts eat the sugars and transform them into alcohol and bubbles, carbon dioxide. This process is known as re-fermentation. At the end of the resting period, in the dark at a constant temperature of 14 degrees Celsius, the bottles have to be cleaned of deposit. This used to be done using pupitre in a manual process which took as long as 21 days. But now we use the giro palette, which completes the remouage of the bottles in less than a week, depositing all the sediment in the neck of the bottle, which is then frozen by immersion in a special freezing liquid. Once the necks of the bottles have been frozen, they are ready for the degorgement, disgorging. When the dregs of the frozen yeasts are removed, and the bottles are finally clean and free of impurities and sediments, then the liqueur d'expedition dosage is added, a secret formula that only Christian knows. Then they are filled with the same wine to reach the legal level declared on the labels. And finally, they are corked with natural cork to stay fresh and preserve their bouquet. So the process of disgorging is over. The bottles are then checked manually one by one so that we are sure that all the production process has been carried out to perfection. Finally, the bottles are ready to be properly sealed and sent all over the world. The bottles are placed in boxes where they are kept horizontal so that the cork is always humid. Once they are ready, they are packaged so that they can be sent anywhere.
So sparkling Cantina della Volta wines arrive on your table like this, with their original bouquet and their love of a very special place. Campaign financed according to EC Regulation Number 1308-13.